Okay guys, I'm here today with a review on my Slash 2 Wheel Drive Ultimate Race Build. This is a truck I've been working on for the last few months. If you've been following my channel, you'll recognize this body from my SC10 4x4, SC10 GTE, and now I've went ahead, drilled some more holes, and now it fits the Slash 2 Wheel Drive. Go ahead and move that all away. Body's held up really well if you're looking for a decent body. Uh, they're heavy, so, but they do make lightweight models, which is kind of cool. I haven't yet to try one out, but they work pretty well. Pretty well. Onto the truck itself, it ran uh, pretty decent. The first pack was absolute crap. I could not figure out how to get this thing around the track without having some sort of issue. I found out the main issues are the sus front suspension is way too hard. I had no um, off power steering. It was really hard to get any low speed steering out of this truck. Uh, after a while I started to figure it out, but the main things I was able to nail it down to was suspension being too stiff in the front. And you can tell just by hearing that. And it's got air in the shocks. Just a bad rebuild on my part um, for these shocks. As well as the tire. The compound is soft enough. It's a good soft compound, but they're not sticky at all. They're fairly dry. Just don't have the stickiness that you want for a indoor clay track. And the foams are just much too hard. So if I were to do this again, I'd put different foams in and maybe go with a little bit softer compound to try and add a little bit of stick. But I was able to rem remedy that with MCG Racing's Grip It in the red. I guess that's already said. Oh. Uh, he's a local guy. He makes some cool uh, products. He's just starting out, really. Check him out at www mcgracing.net yeah that stuff uh, really helped out to add some stick to the tires and break down the compound a little bit more uh, just to help with that grip a little bit better um, the track was really wet during the qualifying so I was not able to do that great uh, both heats I took second to I was doing a uh, novice two-wheel drive with this truck I know you guys are probably thinking, why are you doing novice? And the main reason is because new truck. Um, I was still in the, I'm still in the tuning phase of this truck, and I just wanted to get some lap times in without uh, caught messing up anyone else's race. Really, uh, two wheel drive short course mod is really competitive at my track, and the guys take it pretty seriously. I didn't want to have any issues with any of them. Uh, if something went wrong with my truck and I cost them positions or the race even so I went into two-wheel drive novice for this I did race end up racing a uh, steam truck but that's for a different video but the main thing I did notice was the suspension of the tires but other than that it was fairly decent steering's a little bit sloppy you can see um, I'm guessing that is mostly from that cheap steering bell crank setup they have in these two-wheel drive Traxxas. Definitely going to be picking up the aluminum either from Proline or STRC depending which one I can get easier and cheaper. I'm guessing it's probably going to be STRC but you never know if I can find a good deal on a good on a Proline. I'll definitely go for it. Um, other than that though, ran fairly decent. The drive ha drive shafts, I was pleasantly surprised, held up very well to the 8.5. I wasn't 100% sure if they were going to uh, just be torn apart or not. I was under geared because I did end up stripping, semi stripping my spur gear, and my local track was fresh out of two wheel drive tracks as spur gears. So I just kind of slammed the uh, pinning gear up into the spur and it made it throughout the day so it is a little under geared I did notice that uh, during just the practice hours uh, when I get get up with some other two-wheel drive uh, short course trucks on the straights they had me every time but through the corners once I got the hang of this truck it I was surprised that I was actually keep up able to keep up with them fairly well over jumps and everything it tended to go nose high a bit um, I'm going to try and remedy that uh, in whatever way I can. Maybe add some a little more weight up front. 
I'd still need to get my, uh, I need to pick up a few cheap uh, scales so that I can get this all, chuck all balanced out weight wise because I know this thing, this ESC weighs a ton and that receiver weighs nothing. So definitely going to have to add quite a bit of weight to that left side there. But for the most part, I would say it was a success. Went around the track, didn't break anything. Only issue I had is the servo horn did come, the screw backed out and I lost it. And that one's just on there to keep it from flopping around. As you can see, it moves a ton. But for the most part, truck was great. Can't wait to take it out again. Uh, if you guys have been thinking about trying this uh, racing your slash, I'd definitely do it. I'll have a full list of parts that I'm using, including electronics, uh, in the description. I'll try and link as many of them as I can find. Upgrade parts, obviously I'm not going to link slash bumpers because that is something that's just there. Um, but I'll link wheels, tires, upgrades, just servo, um, receiver, electronics, batteries, um, whatever I can so that you guys, to help you guys start your own build. Or if you're just looking for parts for maybe you have a Rustler, Bandit, Stampede that you want to try some of these parts out on. Well guys, that's it for now. I'm gonna try and get some racing fo or some driving footage up here in the next few days if I can find some decent stuff that's long enough. And if you guys haven't checked out my latest uh, edit, then it should have popped up at some point in this video and down at the bottom. Or if not, go down below, click on my channel, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment. I love answering your guys' questions. I when I'm not working on RC cars. Uh, I don't have much of a life, so, yeah. On that sad note, guys, I'll see you later. Okay, guys, I'm here today with a... What? Uh, now I just went ahead, drilled some holes, and now it's up for the slash 4 by Or, slash 4 by slash... Get on to the main... The main part of this... Uh,